Hello, I'm Shivani. Welcome to my channel. Today's class is about past perfect tense. Well, this tense is used to tell us about activities that happened in the past. I know you'll say we use past tense to tell about activities that happened in the past or before now. But what if there are two or more than two activities that took place in the past? How are you going to differentiate? Which happened first and which happened later? Well, that is where we use past perfect tense. Let me give you an example. The rain had stopped just before they arrived. So you see there are two activities. One took place before the other. The rain had stopped. That's the first activity. Just before they arrived. That's the second activity. The first activity happened before the second activity and is expressed in the past perfect tense. Whereas the second activity which happened later is always expressed in the simple past tense. Got it? Let's check out a few more examples. When I got home, I found that my brother had already eaten my pizza. When I got home, I found that my brother had already eaten my pizza. Second example, the show had already begun when they reached the theatre. Can you guess which action took place first and is written in the past perfect tense? Excellent, you got it right. Please share it in the description for others to see as well. Now, there can be more than two activities that happened in the past. For example, before she left for work, she had watered the plants, fed the birds and cooked the food. She did so many things before she left for work. So you see the activities that happened before the last activity, which is the last activity? She left for work. So whatever happened before that have been clubbed together and expressed in the past perfect tense. Whereas the last activity is expressed in the simple past tense, isn't it? Now let's look at the structure of past perfect tense. It is subject plus had plus past participle. Subject can be singular or plural. It does not matter. It's followed by the auxiliary uh, or the helping verb had. And the main verb is in the form of past participle. You know, the third form of verbs. You have to learn them. So, uh, let's look at some examples. She had studied. I had studied. You had studied. They had studied. We had studied. So, the subject, whether it's singular or plural, is followed by the auxiliary had. So, it doesn't matter whether it's singular or plural. That's one good thing about past perfect tense. Now, how to form negative sentences? Very simple, just add not after the auxiliary or the helping verb had. Not after had. For example, she had not studied. I had not studied. You had not studied, they had not studied, we had not studied. Now let's find out how interrogative sentences are formed. They can be formed by interchanging the places of the subject and the auxiliary verb had. For example, had she studied, had they studied, had you studied and so on. Sometimes you can also use question words like why, where, etc, how, etc in front of the auxiliary had to form questions. For example, why had the train stopped a little while ago? Now, the use of contractions. You know, while speaking, contractions or short forms are used. They make the flow of your conversation uh, much smoother. I had becomes I'd, you had becomes you'd, they had becomes they'd, we had becomes we'd, she had she'd, he had he'd. Similarly, negatives. 
I had not becomes I hadn't. You had not, you hadn't. They had not, they hadn't. We had not, we hadn't. She had not, she hadn't. He had not, he hadn't. Use a for and since. As you know, for is used to denote a period of time. For example, two hours, three months, two weeks, etc. And since is used to refer to a point of time in the past. For example, last year, 1920, 15th August, last century, and so on. So, in past perfect tense, since and for are used generally for stative verbs. As you know, stative verbs are not used in the continuous tense. They are not used in the continuous tenses. And what are stative verbs? Stative verbs don't show any action. They are like know, like, love, believe, etc. They are not action verbs. For example, I had known him since my school days. I had known him since my school days. We don't say, I had been knowing him. We, that would be wrong. I had believed in ghosts for a long time before I understood that they did not exist. So we don't say I had been believing. So these words are not used in the continuous tense. So we use past perfect. We don't use past perfect continuous for that. So dear viewers, how did you find today's lesson? Please let me know. Do you do share with your friends? Do share the video with your friends? Won't you give it a like? Stay connected, please. For that, you have to press the bell icon. We'll be back soon. Bye.